Uh, hello, this will be a demonstration of Proposition 25 from Book 9 of Euclid's Elements, which says that the difference of an even number from an odd number is an odd number. Or, in other words, an even number minus an odd number makes another odd number. We're given two numbers, AB and BC. The number AB is an even number, while the number BC is an odd number. And what we want to prove is that their difference, which is the number CA, is also an odd number. We're going to begin by taking a unit away from our number BC. So we're going to have the number BC minus the unit CD makes the number DB. Now because BC is an odd number, we were given that information. And we know if we subtract a unit from an odd number, we'll always get an even number just by definition. Definition 7, 7 tells us that. So that because the number BC is an odd number, the difference of the odd number BC from the unit CD, which is the number DB, is an even number. So DB is even. But we also know that the number AB is an even number. We were given that as well. So if we take their difference, if we take the difference of AB from BD, because both of those numbers are even, their difference, which is the number AD, will be even as well. That's what we get from Proposition 924, that an even number minus an even number makes another even number. So that because AD is even, if we then add the unit back to AD and get the whole CA, we'll ha therefore have an odd number. Because again, we know by definition, definition 7-7, seven, seven, that an odd number is always one away from an even number. So if we add a unit onto an even number, we'll get an odd number. So the even number AD plus the unit DC, which is the whole CA, is therefore an odd number, which is what we set out to prove, which means we're done with the proposition, therefore, etc. QED. Another quite straightforward one, the next two propositions as well will be the simple ones about taking differences between even and odd numbers. Just to give an example of what this proposition would look like, if we have 8, which is an even number, minus 5, which is an odd number, I hope we can all agree to that, we'll get their difference, which is the number 3. So because 8 is even and 5 is odd, this proposition is going to tell us that 3 is also odd. How Euclid goes about proving that is he says that well, what this really is, is it's 8 minus 4 minus 1, because he takes the unit away from the odd number and is therefore left with an even number. He takes the difference of the first even number from the remaining even number, which we know is itself even. This will still be the number 3. So because this is an even number, if we take 1 away from it, we'll get an odd number according to definition 7, 7. So that's how we know that the difference of 8 and 5, or the difference of any even number from any odd number, will therefore also be an odd number. That's all I've got to say about this proposition, so I'll end the video here and move on to Proposition 926.